as you can see, it is happy Kathy Lieben, who's our chip leader with close to 4.1 million. One of these players is going to take home over a million dollars, and he's a start of 3,000. Blinds 10 and 20,000. Action going to Chicago. Chris Moore, he's got a queen 10. He's going to raise it to 55,000 to go. Steve Brecker going out. The local Tony mm. Bahari on the short stack says all in with a king eight of hearts. And he's got 440,000 in front of him. And Kathy Lieber looks down at a pair of tens. How much? And Tony just imploded on the last hand they played. She is the one that just broke him up. I'm calling. Well, Kathy's going to make the call. Yep. Chris is going out. Oh, I need a lot of help. So Kathy Liebert with a chance to put a left and a right to Tony here and take him out of this tournament. She's out in front right now with the two tens. Tony Bahari needs help to stay alive. Well, he made a misstep on the last hand they played when he went over the top for everything when Kathy already had a full boat. And it just destroyed him. And right now he's down to his last chip. He's going to have to get lucky here to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. Not on that flop. It comes Jack, seven, deuce. Tony's going to have to catch a king, two running hearts to make a flush, or two running cards to make a straight. Otherwise, he'll be our fourth place finisher. Yeah, a three on the turn. Got this tournament through a $1,000 satellite. He's an amateur player with a dream. Needs to stab a big card on the river. Must catch a king to stay alive. Let's see if he can do it. Nope, a four comes off. So that's going to do it for the local amateur out tonight in fourth place. Kathy Liebert, higher than a hippie at Woodstock right now. Days, it'll feel a lot better that you got fourth here. We have to say goodbye to Tony. He's going to pick up 230000 A big effort from him. Well, Vance, just a short while back, he was the chip leader at this yeah, final table. Safe, yeah. Made a very bad tactical blunder. And it's back to selling jalopies in a hurry for Tony. And that's, there are no more amateurs left. We are down to three pros, including one of the bounties in this tournament, Kathy Liebert. So this is going to be a tough fight to the finish from here. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. Well, those women have done. None of them have crossed the finish line with the gold here at the Bay 101. Kathy Liebert looking to do that here tonight. That's right, to take home over a million dollars. Let's go to the table. Action on Chicago. Chris Moore, he's got an eight, six of clubs, and he's going to call with it. Steve Brecker right behind him with a 5-4. And he's in the small blind. Going to cost him another 12000 to make call. the call, and he does so. And Kathy has the same hand to 5-4. She says, give us a flop. Here comes that flop. It's Jack, Jack, six. Steve checks. Kathy checks. And Chris Moore, who got a piece of that, a pair of sixes. About to put some chips out, it appears. Yep, 50,000. Quick fold by Steve Brecker. Let's see if the smiling bandit wants to stick around. Well, Kathy Liebert. Looks like she's going to try to play the bandit here, Vince, because she is going to raise this pot with nothing. There you go. 150,000. But Chris is going to call her with the two sixes. Gulp. Turn card <laughs> coming up. <laughs> well, the three of diamonds comes off on the turn. Gives Kathy an open-ended straight draw. A little life there, perhaps. Will she fire a second shell here? She does have outs to win the pot now. A deuce or a seven would give her the win with the straight. And she's going to bet advance 200,000. She can Which afford to do this. She is the chip leader. She's taking a stab. Will Chris put the pieces of the puzzle together here? Will you put her on a spade draw or just put her on a making a move? He's going to make the call here. Yep, he's going to get stubborn. So we are going to the river card. The ace of spade comes off. That card's going to scare both players because both will be fearful the other had a spade draw. Just a, not a good card for Kathy, and she's yeah. just going to give this up. She yeah. checks. Waving the white flag here. Chris Moore going to take the pot down with Jackson sixes. 
And Kathy Lieber tried to take a stab at that pot, and Vince, I don't fault her for making that move or betting on the turn. There's a good chance with a 2 6 and a small kicker like he had, he could lay the hand down for 200,000. Getting too old for this, Matt. Getting too old for this. Well, that is why she's called the Smiling Bandit. She is tough six times at a final table on the World Poker Tour. She hasn't taken a title yet. Will it be tonight? Well, Steve looks down and picks up an ace queen again. Yeah, wow, that's his hand tonight. He's had this numerous times at this final table. Won every pot with it. 95. And he comes 95. in for 95,000. I'd love to know who he talks to when he makes those raises. Oh, Kathy Liebert has picked up ace king of spade. She is dominating Steve Brecker at the moment. Action is on her. 600. 600,000 is the bet. There you go. Chris gets out of their way and is just hoping and praying that they clash right here. Or perhaps one of them will go out. Double scoop, huh? Well, every time Steve's had an ace queen so far at this final table and someone's raised, he's come back over the top, has yet to call with it. He's won every time with it. Great opportunity if that should happen for Kathy. Oh, he's going all in again. Yes. This could be his downfall, Vince. Kathy is in great oh, shape she's here. She's made the call. And she's made the call. And she has got to love this. It's ace king of spade versus ace queen. If she wins this pot, she'll be a dominating favorite in the heads up situation. Chris Moore on the sideline, sweating his hand out as well. He knows if Steve goes out, he moves up 260,000 in real money and can play heads up for this title. Steve Brecker's second time at a WPT final table. His shot here tonight, on the line right now. Oh, Look at King comes right up in the flop. It's come King Jack five. Kathy Liebert is all smiles. She is out high-fiving the crowd, but I'm sure she realized a 10 would still beat her. That would give Steve an ace high straight. I still got to fade a couple cards, though. She's just elated to hit the king. Oh, uh, she still loved that flop. Well out in front. And the 10 does come up. Oh, no. Oh, this oh. is unbelievable. Yeah, you're not supposed to high-five till the hand's over. <laughs> Queen. What a nightmare turn card that was for Kathy Liebert. Steve Brecker with perhaps the break of the tournament right here. The river card not going to help Kathy. Kathy Lieber devastated there as Steve Brecker hits lightning on the turn to win this pot. That'll teach Kathy Lieber never high five before the hand is over. Absolute train wreck. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action here on the World Poker Tour. This is one fun event. We're down to three-handed poker. Steve Brecker, our chip leader. And one bounty remains, and that's Kathy Liebert, and she is on the short stack with three players left. And Vince, I was a bounty here a couple years before the World Poker Tour came around. And believe me, it's like playing poker with a bullseye on your chest. They all want to shoot you down and get that $5,000 bounty. I bet they do. But let's go back to this hand. Kathy has picked up a pair of kings. Well, perhaps a little justice after the terrible nightmare that she just went through. And she had ace king against ace queen and lost that $4 million pot. Unbelievable. Just an awful outdraw there. Ace king up against ace queen to take control of a tournament that you've never won and then have that happen. What a disaster. Yeah, she's going to raise it. Makes it 110,000 to go. Chris with the ace high. Be careful about making a move here. He's going to make a call, though. Little does he know she's got such a powerhouse. Here comes the flop, and it only gets better for Happy Kathy, picking up three of a kind. Unbelievable. She has flopped top set. She's got three kings as the flop comes king six four. And she is going to check. She's trying to trap here. Yeah, she sure is. Chris also checking. Ten of spades on the turn. Two spades out there. Abba songs going off in Kathy's head and checking again. Yeah, just trying to throw this guy rope, hoping he'll take a stab at this pot. Hit something along the way. And he's going to yeah. check. Doesn't fall into the trap. Now the eight of spade comes off. So three spades, possible straight, possible flush out there. Again, Kathy checks. And if I had an ace eye here, I'd be happy just to check it down. Obviously, Chris is not going to win the pot. And look at this, Vince. He's going to reach for chips. And he's betting 150,000 here. Man, I play so bad. Look at the anguish on Kathy's face. I guess most people would just be delighted somebody bet where you could call them a three kings, but. I don't know. This is typical. 
After losing that last pot with Ace King against Ace Queen, Kathy's fearfully made a flush or a straight Kathy. here. Yep, she's getting worried that he stumbled into something. She's never laying this down. No. She's going to make the yeah. call here. Ace high. It's not often you check down top set and then make a crying oh. call on the river, but Kathy did it there. I thought you made your play so bad because you're calling off the first hand. I'm calling because I mean I, I play so bad because I let you did. catch whatever you needed to catch without charging you a penny. I didn't catch anything. You couldn't have done anything. Huh? I almost folded free flop too. Thought you had a good hand. Almost. Kathy's totally confidence just shattered now after losing that big pot a minute ago to Steve Brecker. Six final tables, never winning a title. Got to cut us some slack here. Well, here we go. On to the next hand. Kathy quickly folds, and Chris Moore looks down at two eights in the small blind. Has raised to 130,000. Steve Brecker behind him with an A7. Well, just the battle of the blinds. When you have an ace high, you just assume it's better than the other guy's hand, even if he raises you here. In this case, Chris has him beat, of course. Steve, a very calculating player. Well, he's going to raise advance. 440,000 is the bet. These are the two chip leaders going at it here. Steve Brecker has Chris covered. You pick up two eights here, Vince. Would you just ship it? Or you just call to see a flop? Oh. Chris opting to take the conservative route. Wants to see a flop before he commits any more chips. But a lot of chips in that pot right now, almost 900,000. Oh, and an ace right on the flop. It's come ace, queen, jack. Just a horrible flop for Chris Moore. As he's got three overcards out there, he checks. And Steve checks the two aces right behind him. Doesn't want to fall in any traps here. Now a nine comes off. Again, that card no help to Chris. It does give him a straight draw. A 10 would make him a straight. And he's checked again, and Steve not going to bet. And the board pairs jacks. And Chris now thinking, geez, is there a chance Steve's got something like two fives or two threes here, and I might have the best hand? 500,000. He is going to bet 500,000. Hi, Cole. And a call. You got it. I got eights. Steve quickly calls with the two aces, just not fearful at all. His opponent might have a jack or something better in his hand. So check. He quickly made the call, which means that was bad timing by Chris Moore to bet right there, Vince. Because Steve read him like a book. So KG play at the Bay 101 shooting star, where they're all going after the over $1 million first place prize and the coveted WPT title. Stay with us. We're coming back with more action on the World Poker Tour. Going for his first title. And action going to Kathy Lieber. She's got ace nine this time. Now Kathy comes in for 120,000. And right behind is Chicago Chris with a nine, 10 of clubs is going to call. And he's got those suited connectors you love to see flops with, so he makes the call. Steve Brecker going out. So two way action. Ace nine up against nine, 10. Here comes a flop. That's come a seven eight. Kathy has flopped top pair. Chris has flopped an open in straight throw. It's action going to Chris. Will he bet it? No, he checks it. Kathy raised before the flop, hits her hand, and she's going to bet the hand after the flop. Hundred and fifty thousand. All right, Chicago Chris with a decision here. Yeah, a lot of money in the pot, Vince. You're only 450,000, so I'll be surprised if he wouldn't call here. And indeed he does. Calling with the open end straight throw. Three of clubs comes off. Now this gives Chris a flush and straight throw events. But he's going to check it. Now he's got what we call a semi bluff hand. Your opponent bets. Many times you just raise with this kind of hand. Happy to win the pot right there or just gamble that you hit something. But both players check on the turn. Now the three comes off. Nothing hitting for Chris. Well, he's got to realize now the only possible way he can win this pot is to bet at it. And since Kathy did not bet on the turn, maybe he's thinking she doesn't have an ace and he can steal this pot from her. He's going to try it. 275,000 is the bet. Vince, 
The way she's played it, she just set the table for him to try to bluff at the river here, and she'll pick him off now like a cherry on a tree for sure. She does make the call. She's going to win the pot with aces up. Uh, he doesn't even want to show his hand. Well, nicely done for Kathy Leavitt. And there's the talent of knowing when to slow down, when not to bat, and right there you see it. And one of the top pros in the world, Kathy Liebert. So Kathy Liebert increasing her chip stack. And with that last hand, we're going to move the blinds up to 25 and 50,000. And a quick fold by Kathy Liebert. Now it's on Chicago, Chris Moore, and he's got Ace King this time. Well, he's not going anywhere this time, I can promise you that. Going to put in a raise, making it 125,000 to go. And Steve Brecker, our chip leader, 63 years old, with a king three of diamonds, is going to make the call. So the two blinds going at it here. Chris in dominating shape. Now the flop comes 9-5-4 with two diamonds. Action on Chris Moore. All in. He's moving all in here with the ace king. Call. Now Steve calls with the diamond flush draw. Wow. So he's gambling here a bit. He can afford to make this call. They accidentally raised to 125. I'm at 175. I'm in the lead, but. So everybody on their feet here. Let's see the diamond. Screw that hand up. Diamonds are girl's best friend, right guys? Well, Kathy over there saying, hey, how about rooting for a diamond so I can play heads up for this title? As the cards lie, Chris Moore about a three to two favorite to win this pot and double up. Chris Moore's poker destiny on the line, but that's a good card for him, a five of hearts. He's still out in front. Well, we are down to the river card. Steve Brecker must catch a diamond or a three to win this pot. Anything else, and Chris Moore will double up. Can the young 25-year-old continue? Oh, six of diamonds oh, on God. the river. So that's gonna do it for the 25-year-old poker pro to Chicago, Chris Moore, our yeah, third place finisher. Great, Chris. Great. Great. Well, the body count grows as Chicago Chris is out. Back to Wrigley Field for him. Third place finisher, gonna pick up 291,000. A great effort by him as he goes over to his friends to be consoled. Didn't win, but he still won a lot of money. You know what I'm saying, bro? Good work, man. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. With over five main in earnings, trying to put a WPT title on a resume. Let's see if she can do it. All right, action on Steve Brecker. He's got ace four this time. He's raised it to 125,000. And Kathy behind him with an ace six. She's going to test the water here. She's coming right over the top for 400,000. Steve Brecker leaning forward. All in. Whoa, wow, he has gone all in here. Now, folks, even though we can see Kathy has the best hand with an A6, when you re-raise a guy and he goes over the top all in, and your tournament life is on the line, you just have an A6 offsuit. You're not that proud of it. You're fearful he's got Ace King, Ace Queen, Ace Jack, or even a pair of sevens. As it is, Kathy has the best hand. What is she going to do here? Well, this would be the call of the night. If she should make this, she'd be well out in front with a big chance of becoming the chip leader. But no, she can't gamble on that. She folds her hand. Got outplayed there by Steve Brecker. Give him credit, Vince. A good reader of people because how did he know that she wasn't that strong? Just good intuition. Well, Vince, it just tells me Steve Brecker is looking to play big pots to get this thing over with. Really respects Kathy's game. Doesn't want to get into a long tussle with her where she might outplay him. So just go for the big pots, see if you can end it quickly. Well, in this hand, Kathy has raised to 150,000 with just a 10-8. And Steve Brecker with a queen five, gonna make the call. Wow, what a daring call by Steve. I know he's been running good here, where he's outdrawn a couple people here, but is this stretching it? Well, flop comes king five four. Three spades on the flop. Steve out in front with the two fives. And Steve has checked his fives. 
Kathy has got the flush draw. Well, Kathy's going to make the continuation bet in hopes that Steve goes away. That's 200,000. Now the question is, what's he going to do with his two fives? Well, he's going to make the call here, Vance. He studied Kathy for a long time before making that call. You just wonder if he picked up something on her. Like he's seeing through her cards at this point. Now well, nine of clubs comes off. Helps need a player. So Steve's still out in front with the two fives, and he checks. Now, what would you do if you're Kathy? Mm -hmm. You bet on the flop, the guy called you. Kathy's going to check. Yeah, the smiling bandit slows down. River card coming up, pairs the board. Yeah, the board pairs nines. Just a good card for Steve, in my view. Because if he thought he had the best hand on the flop, he's going to feel like he's still got the best hand. Well, he checks it. Kathy knows she can only bet this and win, perhaps. Make a bluff. Yeah. She's going to take a stab at it, Vince. 400,000 is the bet. She's going to put Steve Brecker to the test right here. He made a great call on the flop. Will he make another one on the river? And she is just praying that he goes away. I mean, this is her dream to take home a first WPT title six times at this final table. It's eluded her so far, and it's this kind of bet that can make a breaker at this moment. Oh. And Steve has made the call, a great call, call by Steve Brecker here. And Vince, we've seen him where he got lucky against Kathy when he had ace queen against ace king. We saw him out player on the hand previous to this one. And this hand, he read her well. And I'll tell you, Vince, right now he owns Kathy Liebert. What do you have to do to get this Brecker to fold a hand? I mean, she's doing everything. She has great imagination. It's just not working at this point. All right, back to this hand. Brecker this time picking up a queen, 10 of hearts. He's raised it to 125,000. Come on. But Kathy Liebert says all in with a little pair of fours. Call. Cool. Steve is going to gamble here. I don't blame him. Might call two with his chip count to try to get this thing over with. It's two over cards versus the under pair. Kathy Liebert's tournament life on the line. She must win this pot to stay alive. Steve looking for his first. A million WPT and a half dollars title. in this pot. I'm looking for my first major title. Steve Brecker going after his first title. He was humiliated at his first WPT final table. Oh, what a flop for Kathy. She's flopped three fours. Kathy, don't go high five. Your opponent can backdoor flush or a bigger full house here. Now she learned her lesson, man. She listened to you. Kathy's not doing anything with any of the crowd. Now it's over. Now she can say, OK, I'm taking this five down. Seven of diamonds comes off. No car Steve can catch the win. King means nothing on the river. Kathy Liebert has doubled up. So a little redemption there for Kathy Liebert. Can she come back and take home the million dollars and the coveted WPT title? Shooting star continues. Heads up action. They started out with 391 players. We're down to these two. Steve Brecker well out in front with 6.6 .6 million in chips. Kathy Liebert with just 1.1 million. Everything going Steve Brecker's way in this heads up battle. Here he looks down at 10 six of diamonds. Going to raise it up to 125,000. Kathy has him dominated once again with a 10 eight. She's going to make the call. So 10 six up against 10 eight. Here comes the flop. Which comes six, deuce, deuce. Again, Kathy out flopped by Steve Brecker. Kathy quickly checks. It's pretty easy body language to read right there that this flop didn't help her. Yep. He bets out with a two pair, takes down the pot, takes one step closer to capturing his dream of winning a WPT title and redeeming himself from his performance at his other WPT final table. This is no longer a happy Kathy. And if it looks good, kill. Kathy would be out in front with that right now. Well, she's got the queen ten of spade here, Vince. She is just calling with it. Now Steve Brecker with it, ace nine. Well, Vince, when someone limps in on the button, you have to figure ace nine is the best hand. And Steve makes it 175, and Kathy's come over the top all call. in with a quick call by Brecker. So Kathy Liebert all in with the queen ten of spade. She must win this pot to have any chance of capturing her WPT dream title tonight. Kathy, the most successful female tournament poker player in history with over five million in tournament earnings, must win this pot to stay alive. Let's see if she can do it.
Here comes a flop six, Whoa. six deuce with two spades. He's got a shot hanging around. Well, she's got the flush draw, Vince. Steve Brecker out in front with the ace high. Kathy looking for a queen, a 10, or preferably a spade. Fourth Street popping up. It's deuce. not going to help Kathy. Well, a deuce comes off. Kathy needs a queen, a 10, or a spade to win the pot. She would tie the pot if a six or a deuce comes up. Anything else, Steve Brecker will be our champion. Yeah, the 63-year-old poker pro out of Reno. He's done it. Four Steve clubs Brecker. comes off. So there you have it. Steve Brecker's dream of redeeming himself from his other WPT final table performance comes true. He is our champion. Extreme disappointment for Kathy Lever. She'll take home 550000 But there could only be one champion, a new millionaire on the WPT, and that is Steve Brecker. Congratulations. The last bounty bites the dust. Kathy Liebert signing over her bounty t-shirt to our champion, Steve Brecker.